Hi, Joseph Clay here from Paris, Kentucky. My family have been breeding racehorses for 150 years. Thank you for watching this podcast. At Thoroughbred Engine Analysis, we want to help you focus on buying the right horse that matches your skill in finding the right physical with matching it with the right engine. So don't waste time and money and you will be able to have an edge over the competition. Knowledge is power. Our thoroughbred engine analysis is based on modern 21st century evolved computer formulated Voyer dosage tool that is from Bloodstock Evaluator. It is a theory that bases the six foundation sires of the thoroughbred that have a prepotent influence on each horse. These influences are like different gears, so it gives a percentage of each sire influence on each level that gives you a clear picture of what type of horse that you have. How do we know this accuracy? Because we have been validated by the horses winning the races based on this dosage percentage engine profile. And I will give you a few answers to those questions that you read to, um, from the European Daily News, as well as you'll be able to see with some of the analysis on some horses that you know about. So what does it measure? It's going to measure a level of turn of foot, length of stride, um, toughness and early maturity, uh, training on as an older horse, precocious speed and stamina. So it's going to give a prepotent influence and a percentage reading of each horse. So what are you going to get? You're going to get um, the six foundation sire um, reading with, with the uh, six foundation sire pedigree there. And then you're going to have the the reading here, and then you're going to have an analysis. So a sample analysis, we have used the horse DXB. So we have the first sire influence, Hermit, and he has a 84.5 average. Um, Gallopin, 95, which is a high reading. Hampton, which is toughness, an 80.5 high reading. And then Sonomy, a 59.6 low reading. That's training on as an older horse. Bendor, precocious speed, 96.1 high. St. Simon, 97.3 good. And then it has an overall score. And this score, <clears throat> as you get closer to, to zero, zero to 80 is you have a higher percentage of having a stakes caliber horse. So it kind of blends those numbers together to give you a score. <clears throat> So, and then we give an explanation of what all these readings read. So this is what it says. This horse dosage profile has the potential to be fast with high galloping, striding ability, and high bindor, precocious speed. With high Hampton, toughness, and early maturity, the ability to stay sound and stand up to training early. With good St. Simon stamina to be effective between 9 and 12 furlongs as a 3-year-old. Ideal racing strategy to be on or just off the pace. The horse profile with low insonomy suggests that he will not improve with age after three years of age. So we're going to be able to send, send this to you, um, email, with um, the sixth generation pedigree and the score. And you can always, we can always, if you have further questions, we can always give you, uh, you can give us a call. Um, the price is $75 per report, or if you do five or more reports, it's $50. Just a small fee to really, really be able to have an understanding of what you're going to buy. So answering all those questions to lead straight into our advertisement on the EBN, we can give you a more 
accurate approximation of the physical based on these 21st century Voyeur dosage theory than looking at a naked pedigree page. I had a question on, is global warming going to change British flat racing? Yes. With more good to firm and firm going, horses have to have a good striding ability, speed, and some stamina to win races. It's going to be less stayers winning the classic middle distance races. And I will go into, in a minute, and explain to you some of the horses that have done really well, uh, particularly Scat Daddy. Should I buy more American bred horses? Not necessarily. The American horses have to have strong striding ability, turn of foot, and some stamina, and of course their natural speed that's very uh, in, typical of American horses, precocious speed, to be effective. And we'll just talk right now about Scat Daddy. Why Scat Daddy? Why has this horse done so well? Well, if you break it down in his pedigree dosage profile, you see that he's very high galloping, 95.7, which is great stride. He has a lot of speed, 97.9, which is a high speed rating for a European type for Europe. And his St. Simon is 94, so that's a, nine, a, mile and a mile and a quarter type of distance that generally that, that reading brings out. Uh, he has a 105 average, uh, compa combined score, which is, is okay. So the main thing is, is, is that this sire is being able to give his progeny now as well as he's a sire of sires of no nay never and you look at no nay never he has the same basic profile as his dad so this has been very uh, been very effective in this type of ground this good ground good to firm giving a lot of speed and stride and that's really making him very effective as a sire and horses like, for instance, the old staying type of horse, uh, we have Sir Percy that we've picked out. So Sir Percy is a derby winner. Um, his get um, longer distance, but as you see, he has a very high hermit, which is great, 99. Gallopin, 106. Hampton, 67. Insanomy, 69. Bindor, 84. St. Simon, 106. So if I'm looking at this and I, you give me uh, a horse to, to analyze and I see Insonomy, 69, Hampton, over Hampton. So there, there's an overhang higher in Insonomy. So I realize that horse is going to be a later maturing horse. And I would just say that if you're looking to buy a two-year-old, I'm going to say, you know, maybe that's not the horse to buy. That, that particular horse is going to need more time. Just going back to the stain type of pedigree, this horse needs more time. It's more of stamina driven with good, uh, with uh, soft going. And so it's not going to lend itself to the change of conditions that's happening with global warming. So another horse, uh, Rahi, is a champion sire. He actually was a better, uh, as an older horse, he was trained in England, went to, uh, to Neil Drysdale in California as a four-year-old. And as you can see, his insonomy is 82.6. So you notice uh, he has high turn of foot, 95, gallopin, 94, length of stride, very low spin door, St. Simon, 101. You notice with a lot of Rahis, they need time. And you see this, and you, so you see kind of a progressive pattern when you see the, the progency with they have Rahi, they need more time. But a lot of times people don't know that. And sometimes things happen, trainers train them too hard. And, you know, having kind of this knowledge, you have an understanding of, of giving horses uh, a better... Um, better way to train because you know kind of some of their genetic or I should say their their history with these these pedigrees 
uh, diving deep and giving you a clear picture of these pedigrees. Another horse I want to talk to you about that just is Solaria stakes at Ascot, too darn hot. He's a horse here, very high stride here. Um, length is galloping, 99. Hampton, 79. Shows a lot of toughness. Bendor, 97.9. So you have Speed, St. Simon, 98. As you see, these totally different profiles than Sir Percy, but this is a type of profile to win the Derby. He would be one of my top Derby picks for the English Derby in 2019. So this is what we're going to be able to do, give you kind of an understanding of what you're buying and giving you a more in-depth engine report of what type of horse you're going to buy. Kitten's Joy. Very high galloping, 92. Bindor, 102. Uh, St. Summon, 93. Same kind of profile as Scat Daddy. Not maybe uh, as, as, uh, as much the stride level, but still very, uh, very, very effective. And we just look at Roaring Lion <clears throat> here. Roaring Lion, 92.7 in the Gallopin, 90 in the Hermit, which is good. Bindor 100, St. Simon 92. So you're, he's been a very effective horse, fast, speed, stride, and being able to win at a mile and a quarter distance. American bred horse. So let's talk about that. So you have an American bred horse that doesn't maybe have these influences. Well, look at Chelsea Cloisters, trained by Wesley Ward, went to, uh, raced in the Queen Mary Stakes. Realizing that he was a great favorite, uh, this horse has a lot of bendors. So you look at his profile, high bendor, and that's very typical of American horses, very high bendor. But not much Hermit, 89, Gallopin, 90, uh, St. Simon, very low in St. Simon, 84. The horse uh, didn't win the race. It was won by Chelsea Cloyce, oh, sorry, not Chelsea Cloyce. Uh, was was won by another horse, um, Signor Capello. I think. So that horse had a very high kind of uh, hermit uh, factor. Had very high galloping, um, length of stride, bendor. Had a good bendor in Saint Simon, and that's the type of horse that. Uh, that won the race in the Queen Mary and so Chelsea Cloisters was not able to have enough of that stamina index, the stride index, and the turn of foot to be effective. So American sires, they have to be able to have those other influences like Kitten's Joy and Scat Daddy to have a difference in Europe. So we're going to be able to give you these advantages of, and say like you're a trainer and you get all these horses in, the, for these yearlings in for the, the next season. So we're going to be able to give you a certain uh, perspective of what engine you have. So you're going to have a, a better idea to kind of base it on. Sure, it's an approximation. And truly, um, you, you know, the physical is going to match up to this, uh, this profile, but it does give you a better idea than just looking at a naked pedigree and say, well, you know, the, the dam did a mile and a half, the sire did a mile, but this will give you a clear pic pic picture. So if, if you have any questions, you can email us at josephclayky at gmail.com and we'll be able to email you back. We have listed on uh, our advertisement and the EBN, our phone number. It's, uh, we'll be able to work with you and give you a great engine reading of what your horse is. Thank you and have a great day.